Hi everybody, this is Molly. I've got another haul I want to share with you. Now this one has uh, been on my craft desk, on craft desks, in my craft room for a couple of weeks now. It's mostly an HSN purchase of Anna Griffin. And then I got a little bit of Stampin' Up! that I bought. I don't buy Stampin' Up! often, but I fell in love with these couple of collections. They were on the um, going away list, retiring list or something, and I wanted to grab them while they were there. And then I bought a couple of stamps and all. Let me get started with what's in front of, front of us here. One of the things that Ann offered this time, she had offered it once before. don't know if it was a sellout or what, but I didn't get it. But it's these lovely layers. And I don't know if you can see. I've got them kind of torn up here. It is a stack. You get 72 layers. Let me pull one out. And what they are is they come like this. And they're die cuts. Uh, you get 72 pieces. And then these pieces break into... I don't know if I can actually do it on screen. You know, they break into different layers of die cuts. So I broke one apart for you here. So, like, here's a piece. You know, this was the big size. And then it comes with the middle, you know, so you, you can see where it's got concentric sizes that go inside each other. And then in the very middle, there's a little saying, whoop, upside down, uh, best wishes today and always. So they make great layering pieces for scrapbooks. And, of course, the smaller pieces could work in cards. And what I love about them, of course, is the colors are so Anna Griffin. Now, let me get the look at the purple in the back and the gold. Those are just Anna Griffin colors. Love them. Okay, so that's a big old stack. I'm going to guess at the prices. I'm sorry I don't have my list here in front of me. But I want to tell you this was like $24.99 for all this big old huge stack, if you can see how big it is. So all those pieces. So I think it was a good buy, and it will be a decade or more before I use it up, I'm sure. Okay, let me get to the next thing. I want to get some things out of the way. Okay, um, one of the things that I bought is this cartridge, uh, Anna's Elegant Embellishments 2. It's a Cricut cartridge, and oh my gosh, it was so pretty. I'm going to show you some of the cuts from some scrapbook pages I've been doing. I'm doing a friend's wedding album, and I used some of these cuts. I'm going to try not to show you her whole pages. You see that word celebrate? Isn't that pretty? That's from the cartridge. Okay, let me see if I can find some more. I don't know if I have any more from the cartridge necessarily. But um, a lot of the flowers and things that I cut out, this is just a gorgeous Anna Griffin cartridge. Now, on a different note, I know uh, Cricut right now. Hello, Sadie, how are you doing? Uh, Cricut has their licensed cartridges on sale right now. I don't think this is one of them, but her some of her other cartridges are on sale. Keep moving, lady. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, so, and then the other sound you hear is my cat, my other cat that does not meow. She trills. I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, anyway, great cartridge. They're on sale right now. Not this one, but some other ones from Anna are on sale at Cricut right now, and as are Disney. Okay, this was something I bought from Anna Griffin. I did not show y'all back when I got it a month ago, but I've been using them, and oh my gosh, I love them. Uh, I don't even know if they're still available, but if you can come across a set, they are expensive. But when you, you know, if you bought them individually, they wouldn't be expensive, but they're a set, so buying them all at once was kind of a commitment. What they are is 12 inch wide embossing folders, which you won't be able to see here at all, and they come with an edge die. So you cut your paper, you know, cut a little strip of paper, cut the edge off, and then stick that little piece of paper in this folder, and it embosses it. And I don't know if you can see at all. See how gloriously large that one is? It's beautiful. But what they look like is, you know, the plaster moldings that they would have up in buildings uh, centuries and decades and centuries ago and decades ago. Uh, that's what they look like. So let me try to show you a couple of these cuts. Hold on just one second. Put that away. Let's see if you can get a clear look at this. It's in a protective folder. Sorry. This. See how it's it cut the you know cut the edge. And then embossed it, and it makes a glow. Oh my God, that thing was this wide. It was beautiful. And then I took another one and just cut along the edge. You know, embossed a smaller piece along the edge and cut it so that I could layer it and get two pretty pieces. There's one. Let me see if I can show you another one. Now, this one I've already used on a page, so you can only see. I don't know if you can see how big this is, this embellishment. And what I did here was I cut the ivory out, embossed it. Then I cut just a solid piece of gold. Uh, kind of a matte gold paper metallic out and layered underneath it so it was gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it makes the most elegant. Let's see if you can see this side any better. 
the most elegant uh, large scale uh, things on the page. It's stunning. Okay, one of the other things I bought from Anna back in you know, her last visit. These sentiments I've been using from her card kits that I had so many of. This one came from a card kit. Well, what I bought this time, which I bought from her before, was she has sayings or sentiments on vellum. Sorry for the Velcro sound. And you get just a ton of pretty vellum stickers. And look, she has chalkboard in there this time. How cute. They peel off. And you can mount them straight on your card or uh, scrapbook page. See how they just peel off? I always mount them on a, an ivory cardstock or something so they stand out a little bit better. And here's one of those sentiments. So you can see where it matched the other older um, piece I had. That's, you know, of course, if you stick with one designer and she uses the same colors, you've got a good chance of matching. But anyway, so that's an Anna Griffin thing. Okay, one of the other Anna Griffin items that I bought was another one of her card kits. It's called Sunny Salutations. And what it is, let's see if I can get this where it shows, is the summer card kit. And they are darling, and they are pop-up cards. And you get, let's see if I can pull this stuff in and show you. I'm talking just a buku bunch of pieces of embellishments. Can you see all that? Cute, cute, cute um, prints of summer cards. You know, and they make pop-up cards. And when I say pop-up cards, you get the you get all those paper embellishments, you get gold foil pieces, you get little ribbon pieces, look how many you get, oh my goodness, to make borders inside the card if you'd like to. And then you get the pre-cut, pre-scored little piece that goes on, the, you know, you take this on the inside of the card and it makes the stand up. Now, I haven't put any of the summer salutations together, but I'll show you, this was the last one I bought from her, which was, I don't know what it was called, but it was a sweet little collection. Make your wishes come true. Kind of a plain card until you open it up. Isn't that pretty? So this was the spring version. See, it says happy birthday. May all your wishes come true. Get it? So what a beautiful surprise people will have when they open those cards from you. I bought the summer version. So that's that. Okay, and then one of the last things I got from Anna Griffin on this haul was I bought this album. And I, let me put this down. And it's a Project Lifestyle album. And you can see the beautiful pattern. And it was on sale for less than it normally was. I don't know if it was $29.99 or $34.99 or, you know, one of those prices. But you got the album. You got the set of, I'm calling them Project Life cards. I'm not sure if that, you know, Project Life actually made it for Anna or how. But you got a set of the cards. And then the album came with just 10 of the, you know, divided page protectors inside. So I just wanted to show you real quick. Don't fall asleep on me yet. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Hold on, hold on. Uh, so what my intentions were is I have a lot of Anna Griffin stuff, so don't fall out. Like here's a scrapbook page I made, a full 12 by 12. Here's another scrapbook page I made with Anna Griffin. And then here, I'm gonna put the page in here and you can see where I've already dropped a couple of cards in there. And then I'll put my other flower pictures in there. You'll notice, you know, at like Project Life, you can see on the back where I'll be able to put a bunch of pictures in there. Because my problem is my books were getting so thick, if you can see how thick these pages are, uh, I, I needed the Project Life kind of story to help me thin down my books and get my pictures done. So there's another page, and then you'll flip it. Here's another page, isn't that cute? And then, of course, these were the page protectors. You'll notice I'm using not only the Ann Griffin, but I use some of the Project Life that I bought at Michael's uh, Buy One Get One Free Sale this past Tuesday. So there, and then here's the second page of the 12 by 12 layout. So I'm loving this book. It's a three ring binder. It is Anna Griffin. Got the little, you know, book binding thing on the end. And I bought it to make all use, I go flower hunting with my husband all the time. He indulges me and lets me take pictures wherever we stop. And so I have, I'll say hundreds, but it's probably thousands of flower pictures I need to get in books. Okay, now my little Stampin' Up! haul I want to show you. I went to a fabulous crop in um, Sulphur, Louisiana recently. I was going to say like Charles with Sulphur. And a lady from New Orleans, who was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, showed us how to make this tag. That's pretty cute, huh? Okay, so I thought that tag was cute. She used Stampin' Up! paper, Stampin' Up! you know, dyes and stamping up stamps and all so that's pretty cute 
So of course I had to buy everything it took to make this dang die. The die ended up costing me 70 bucks or more because I fell in love with all this stuff. So what I bought was the dies, which I think are still available from Stampin' Up. I bought the stamps because I needed them like a hole in my head. Uh, I think they're still available. And then I bought the paper to match. Now let me see if I can find that paper. Somewhere in here is that paper. Oh, I don't know if that's it. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know which collection it is, but I ended up buying three collections from, uh, well, I think this is it maybe, from Stampin' Up. I had forgotten. I don't buy from Stampin' Up often. I had forgotten how much I love their papers. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. They feel great. Uh, you know, for me, that's kind of half the battle. They're double-sided. You get 12, I always like the B prints too. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? A little B print. Isn't that sweet? Darling. So this was one pack. And I want to tell you, this one may be on the retired list. It's a beautiful watercolor. So if you like it, there it is. And then the other kit that I bought recently, which is on the retired list. I'm hoping that coming out, coming out with something as pretty as this soon. Me who likes all that bohemian, you know, Byzantine looking stuff. Oh my gosh, isn't that glorious? Oh, ho, ho, isn't that gorgeous? And then let me show you the B sides. You know, usually smaller prints, but just as pretty. Oh, I love these colors. Oh, ho, ho. Gorgeous. Okay, so these were my Stampin' Up! purchases. And I don't think this was the kit that the tag was made out of. I think I actually have it in my other room. But I had to have this kit with all the watercolor flowers. Isn't that pretty? Just went to Michael's today because they had their art stuff. Buy one, get one free. Is that crazy or what? But anyway, so a little bit of Stampin' Up! A whole lot of Anna Griffin. Okay, y'all have fun, and thanks so much for watching. If you like it, please hit the like button below. That gets other people to get to see it. Share if you'd like. And thank y'all so much for the sweet comments. Y'all have no idea how much they mean to me. Y'all have fun. Keep me out of my calls. Bye.